There is an unprecedented humanitarian crisis unfolding in Syria and surrounding countries. All Australians have been shocked by those horrifying images that have emerged, including the tragic photo of the police officer carrying the body of the poor deceased little three-year-old boy. Will the Prime Minister join with Labor in a bipartisan fashion and commit to offering 10,000 extra humanitarian places in Australia to refugees displaced by the Syrian crisis? The Prime Minister. Well, I do appreciate this question from the Leader of the Opposition, and uh, he's asked it uh, in a good spirit and with a good heart, Mr Speaker. And there is a good spirit and a good heart in this parliament and in our country. We always want to do the right thing by people in trouble, and we are not going to let people in trouble down now. We never have and we never will. It is the Australian way to look after people when they are in trouble. Uh, I agree with the Leader of the Opposition uh, that there is uh, an unprecedented crisis. Uh, it is, um, as he said earlier this afternoon, uh, probably uh, the most serious humanitarian crisis that we've seen, the greatest uh, mass movement of people that we've seen uh, since the end of the Second World War and the partition of India. Uh, so it is a very serious crisis. I also agree with the Leader of the Opposition uh, that all of us uh, were moved uh, to tears uh, by that uh, poignant image uh, of the drowned child on a beach in Turkey. And I do agree uh, that this parliament should, as far as is possible, uh, act in a unified, collegial fashion when it comes to responding to crises overseas. Uh, uh, this parliament, for all of the difficulties and disagreements we've had, has so far been able to speak pretty much with one voice on national security issues, and when it comes to a humanitarian crisis like this, uh, I'd like us to continue to speak as far as we can uh, with one voice and to respond as far as we can uh, as one United Nation. So I do appreciate the suggestions that the Leader of the Opposition has made. Uh, as the <coughs> Leader of the Opposition knows, the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection, Mr Dutton, is in Europe now. Uh, his discussions uh, with the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, with the International Organisation for Migration, uh, with our friends and partners and allies uh, in Europe uh, are now underway. They are now underway. Uh, I think it is important that we hear his report, and that is what I hope to do overnight, uh, before we uh, start to finalise uh, a response. Uh, and I say that uh, any response that we do finalise <coughs> in the next uh, 24 or 48 hours uh, may in fact need to be uh, further revised uh, as this particular crisis unfolds. But it is my intention um, to listen to the minister uh, to see what advice he has received from the people on the spot to weigh the advice that he has received uh, from the experts who are already grappling with this crisis and have been grappling with this crisis for some time now. And I can assure the Leader of the Opposition that uh, uh, he will be briefed uh, and the parliament will be kept updated.